Good day everyone. Today I'm going to show you three of my best partition softwares. The softwares are completely free and you're not going to be charged for anything. To get through to this uh, software, you can check the link in the description. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. The first one is pretty simple and it comes pre-installed with Windows. And to access it, you can just go straight to your search bar and type disk space part. And then you go to create and format hard disk partitions. And then it will open for you this page. Now on this page, you can see that we have different uh, partitions, but we're going to concentrate on disk C. Because disk C is our main disk, and you can see here, uh, disk C is about 1 terabyte. So you go to your tool, and you go to disk C, you right click, and then you go to shrink volume. Uh, it will analyze the amount of volume that is available to be shrinked. And then you can wait for the, the final um, results. Okay, after analyzing, it's going to give you the results like this. Then you can uh, increase or decrease the disk according to your specification. And then after doing that, you're going to press shrink. And then uh, it will process and then give you... Okay, as you can see, we have a space of 34 gigabytes and an unallocated space of 896 gigabytes. So you can go to the space that is unallocated and then you right click and you click um, new volume and then you click next and then uh, next. Uh, the following process is just simple and then it will go to the final stage and shrink the volume for you the downside about this method is that it can limit you to the amount of uh, volume that you can shrink so it will limit you to a certain amount and you cannot shrink it to the volume that you want or according to your own desire the second app we are going to look at is called iomay partition assistance so you can go to the link in the description and it will direct you to this page so on this page you can see that we have three versions the standard version, the professional version, and the server. So you can just download the standard version, which is completely free, and then you can install it. After installing it, then you can open it like so. And then it will lead you to this window. So when you uh, here, you can see this disk C. So disk C is our main disk. You can just go then right click and then you go to create partition the advantage about this one is that it allows you to select the amount of space you require for both the disks so if you shift it to the right you can see you could see the size is going to change and if you shift it to the right to the left the size also changes so you can just shift it to the amount that you require and then you click ok and then you click apply and then it will apply uh, the disk according to your requirement or your settings. And then the partition is complete. So this is different from the first one, but this is completely simple and preferable. And down to the third one. The third one is my favorite and it's called mini tool partition. You can just go to the link in the description and then it will direct you to this page. So on this page, you can see we have different types of these tools to download, but you can just go straight to the mini tool partition wizard free, which is completely free. And then you just go ahead and download it and then you install it. After installing it, then you can go there and open it and then it will lead you to this page. So here you can see we have this uh, different types of disk, but we'll just go straight to disk C and then you go ahead and right click and then you go to split. When you go to split, then it will give you this uh, division of the disk. So this you can shift until you reach the amount that you want. So if I want, for example, 400, I want this to be 400 and the other one to be 500, then I can just shift until um, I reach the desired amount of disk space. And then you will go ahead and click okay 
and then after clicking OK, you go to apply and then you just go through and it will process it and then uh, completing. Okay, after everything is complete, you can just go through to your this PC and then you'll see you can see now the hard drive is split into two. One that is 400 gigabytes and the other one is 500 gigabytes. So the other one you can uh, ins install Windows and the other one you can install personal data. Every time your Windows crashes and need to format the disk, you can just format one disk and the other one with personal data will be saved. Okay guys, that's all for today. So please don't forget to hit the subscription button down there or to hit the like button. And that's all for today. Enjoy your day.